Hey folks and welcome to another video from A Plain Truth. Today we're going to get into writing our own laws and being the author of our own authority. In November of 2014, Mendocino County passed Measure S Ordinance which declared in legalese, in full legal language, that they were the authors of their own authorities in the County of Mendocino and the Community Bill of Rights supersedes state, federal, and international laws making the community the author of their own authority and declaring their rights to self-govern and decide what is best for themselves. Measure S also banned fracking and even more importantly it gave rights to nature so that nature has legal standing from toxic trespass of corporations that only look at nature as a profit center. We've been owned and we've been schooled and we've been taught to obey and be obedient or force will come and take us if we don't pay our taxes well guess what that's slavery folks it's the same thing they just disguise it and we go along with it 310 million people and you've got one person that your allegiance to who's your representative who's out to destroy everything and protect all their own interests come on they got 9-11 on the back of the bills how good are they that they can do this before it happens They've got the all-seeing Freemasonic eye that FDR, Freemason himself, put into institute in 1933. And now they're coming up with a new $100 bill. And if you look on the right side, it's a gold inkwell. They're going back to a gold standard. And if you look closely in the background behind the gold inkwell, behind the landmark, you'll see the writing that's talking of the second paragraph of the Declaration of Independence talking about abolishing government. They're putting it on the bill, folks. They're going to go to a gold standard. They're going to abolish government. There's the writing right there. You can see for yourself. So let's get into Measure S. It's a very powerful document. It gives rights to nature. It gives communities power over state and federal and international laws. And it also empowers all of us to give us hope for the future by making and creating the future we wish to see. All right, let's get into it. All right, so let's get into Measure S, an ordinance that was a local county measure in Mendocino County that was passed in November of 2014. This is an article I wrote about it uh, right after it had passed. Uh, quote, the sacred rights of mankind are not to be rummaged for among old parchments or musty records. They are written as with a sunbeam and the whole volume of human nature by the hand of divinity itself and can never be erased or obscured by mortal power. Alexander Hamilton. Rights are not gifts from government. All right. We've been trained monkeys, folks, to obey. If we don't pay our taxes altogether now, we will go to jail. We all are told the same thing. All right, so Mendocino County makes history. Yesterday, by a significant margin, the first county in California and the second county in the country to pass a law, powerful local ordinance that declares local self-governing rights in their communities over state and federal jurisdiction. Jurisdiction means who has the authority. Over 67% of the votes cast were in favor of the measure. It provides for waters free from toxic trespass. It preemptively bans all fracking activities countywide and establishes a community bill of rights to, for, and by the residents of Mendocino County while checking corporate powers as well. In addition, the newly created law gives the rights of nature to exist and flourish without toxic trespass, whereas previously nature had zero standing in the court of law. Here's part of the language, which we'll get into. The right to community self-government. All re residents of Mendocino County possess the right to form governance where they live, which recognizes that all power is inherent in the people, and all free governments are founded on people's consent. Use of Mendocino County government by the sovereign people to make law and policy should not be deemed by any authority to eliminate or reduce that self-governing authority. Rights as self-executing, fundamental, and unalienable. All rights delineated and secured by this ordinance are inherent, fundamental, and unalienable and shall be self-executing and enforceable against both pro private and public actors. The people of Mendocino County have made history once again, being the first county to ban genetically modified organisms back in 2004. What may seem radical to many is only following in the declarations and rights acknowledged to, by, and for them by the California state and the U.S. constitutions as well as the Declaration of Independence. 
Now, the U.S. Constitution was written by 55 rich white people who owned land, most of them from England, and it was about them, we the people. It was a contract. It was a compact. And women didn't get rights to vote until they had to fight for it 100 years later. Native Americans, blacks, African Americans, the rest of them, people that didn't own property, <laughs> they had no rights when the we the people constitution. So let's get rid of this U.S. Constitution language that we have to follow and obey. It wasn't written for us. And look at the new $100 bill on the right side on the Declaration of Independence, too, folks. It talks about abolishing the government. Well, if they're going to abolish it and return to the gold standard, we should take preemptive strike and we should abolish them and set up our own rules and ways of taking care of each other and taking care of nature, which is under attack as well. So the Declaration of Independence, July 4th, that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and institute a new government. Again, this is in the new $100 bill on the right side in the background. You should take a look at it. They're planning to abolish our government, folks. We're trillions, tens of hundreds of trillions of dollars in debt. Corporate taxes are being cut. Wall Street's hitting all-time highs. The poor around the world, around this uh, United States has gone off the charts here on the West Coast. Homelessness is everywhere. San Francisco is just a big homeless encampment. We'll get into that later. So is Mendocino County. So is Seattle, Washington, and Portland. Uh, and it's going to get a lot worse. They they're want to decimate the middle class. That's that's the goal of this all plan. So anyway, so the Article 1 of the California State Constitution of 1849, all men are by nature free and independent. Let's include women and children in that. And have certain inalienable rights, among which are those enjoying and defending life and liberty, acquiring, possessing, and protecting property, and pursuing and obtaining safety and happiness. All political power is inherent in the people. Inherent. We have it. We don't need to give it. be given it. Government is instituted for the protection, security, and benefit of the people and have the right to alter or reform the same whenever the public good may require it. Well, Mendocino says we're requiring it. And you go to court and have a hearing, so you must speak up. And we spoke up and we passed a law. So who is the author of authority? The real basis of question of the ability of local communities to write laws becomes just who is the final author of authority. Put another way, who has the power to make law? The people in the communities, counties, and cities where they live, or unreachable legislators and presidents residing hundreds and thousands of miles away in their free speech zones, they put us, and your representative. They say they represent you. Well, how many of you met your representative? Folks, I mean, you, you go vote. I mean, and, and, you, and you say that 310 million people are ruled by one guy? I mean, that's crazy. And they're representing you because you go vote every four years, yet people, 40, 50 percent of the country just follows like sheep and goes and votes for, for people they're never going to meet who, who, who want to imprison them and take away nature and, and destroy earth and all that life on it. Come on, folks, we got to wake up. Who are backed by huge corporate funding sources that few can look, touch, or fear or are called by many to be representatives? It is estimated in the United States alone there are 26 million laws, rules, regulations, permits, codes, violations, infractions where ignorance of the law is not excusable in court and our government schooling never teaches to anyone. So how are we supposed to know these 26 million laws? And to enact, and to enact state and federal laws, the power must be really on fear, the rest rely on fear, force, coercion, ignorance, and threat of being caged to get their laws obeyed. In other words, they demand obedience and compliance or else coercion and force may be used no matter how immoral, immoral, and destructive the laws may be. Is it legal to have local self ordinances where we are the author of our authority over state and federal law? Absolutely, because we say it is. We are the people who make the laws and the rules, not them. Many in Mendocino County are asking about the legality of writing their own laws. Um, this was Thomas Lindsay with CELDEF, Community for Environmental Legal Defense Fund. Uh, him and uh, Richard Grossman uh, about 15 years ago started democracy schools to start empowering local communities to write their own laws and empower themselves. And they've been pretty effective, but it's been a long slug here, a long haul here. The law is not currently on your side. The past century, both corporations, corporations, and state government have restricted the authority of municipal corporations so that people of municipality have very few rights at all. Your right to govern your own county has been canceled out by the rights of corporations and the authority of state to preempt your lawmaking. Um, 
Measure S is about changing that. It's about changing the law by challenging the law, openly, friendly, and directly. The current system of law does not allow you to say no to fracking. You therefore have a choice. You can accept the current status of the law, or you can work to change it. Measure S is about challenging what the law is and adopting a new system of law which enables you to control what happens in your county. CellDef, along with Global Exchange, has been providing assistance and guiding. So one example I started getting involved with was up in Mount Shasta with Global Exchange where they tried to uh, stop the uh, taking of, of Mount Shasta, some of the purest water anywhere, and also the PG&E cloud seeding to make rain. Uh, the community wanted to stop these unwanted practices which pose serious environmental damages. Their Measure A had nearly the entire community of support and was likely to pass until it got involved and due to a clerical error, Measure A was removed from the ballot just two weeks before the election. The clerical error was the same city voter registrar who helped the citizens of Mount Shasta write the legalese language to the measure, which also is the same person who declared the measure invalid. This is why you can't trust anybody in the government. They all work for higher authorities. All right, so how do we change back? Who's, who's going to enforce these laws? Well, the sheriffs are beholden to the county. So Sheriff Tom Allman in Mendocino County, we are the watchkeepers of Mendocino County. Um, and so they have an organization called um, the Constitutional Sheriffs and Peace Officers Association. Who's Constitution? In uh, CSPOA wrote their own constitution with states. The people of the United States are and have a right to be free and independent, and these rights are derived from the laws of nature and nature's God. As such, they must be free from infringements on the right to keep and bear arms, unreasonable searches and seizures, capricious detainments, and infringements on every other natural right, whether enumerated or not. As of November 4th, 2014, over 650 police officers, sheriffs, and public officials had put their signature on CSPOA Constitution. All right, so now we get into another thing which is really beautiful about passed in the Measure S Ordinance. It was nature's rights, giving nature rights. By giving nature rights, maybe the most critical and exciting piece of local ordinance that passed in Mendocino County. Nature has no legal standing in courts of law through the nation. They are just considered uh, use for profits. Board feet on, on wood, rivers that can be diverted, water that can be stolen and sent half, half a world away as fresh water. Uh, it's just about corporations thievery. In 2008, the nation of Ecuador made history and became the first nation in the world to legally recognize the rights of nature as well as language to provide for the long-term protection and security of the natural resources over all other interests. Few are aware that the Founding Fathers specifically chose nature to guide them in their new governments as stated in the very first paragraph on the very first document declaring independence from Great Britain. When the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station which the laws of nature and nature's God entitle them, not the law of some man wanting to steal your rights, steal your wealth, steal nature. It's not, it's not about corporations, folks, and those that hide behind them. All right, so this was followed by the International Expansive Rights of Nature Legal Standing with the creation of Rights of Nature Tribunal involving many of the world's most revered environmental activists. Over 850,000 people from 122 countries have now signed petitions advocating the rights of nature. In this critical time where nature herself is under attack from man's century of transgressions, transgressions, caring people across the, across the world are actively and passionately beginning to realign, realign themselves with ancient and native peoples by giving the highest respect to the life-giving forces of Father, Son, and Mother Earth. Where's your food come from? Nature. The air we breathe. Nature. The sun that warms us and grows, our, our, uh, grows and gives us warmth. Nature. It's all from nature, folks, and we give no reverence to her. We just abuse her. By taking back power at the local level, we are setting in course actions to arrest the gross degradation of our earth from those in near and faraway places who are hell-bent to destroy without conscience and who seek only profit and power over all. Once again, we reclaim the rights to the legal primary stewards of our soil, air, and water, and we are reconnecting with the immutable laws of nature and source of all that is. By coming together to be the change we all wish to see, we bring hope and show future generations that they too have the power to change what must be changed 
or our children will have no future to exist and flourish in health, abundance, and beauty. If we don't do this now, who will, folks? So this Measure S is a very, very powerful document. And here's a little bit more about the language that I'll put in the show notes here. Whereas in addition to corporate rights, the state and federal government, as well as the international trade laws, have been routinely, routinely used by the corporations to preempt local law, lawmaking, thus denying people's right to local self-government. The Board of Supervisors in Mendocino County, every resident, president, and future of Mendocino County has an equal right to a healthy and safe environment. The duty to enhance, protect, and preserve Mendocino County's environment, community health, and quality of life rests on the shoulders of local government, residents, citizen groups, and business alike. Whereas the people have the responsibility to future generations to secure their right to local self-government, to protect natural environment as county, to preserve the local ecosystems, ability to sustain agriculture, business, and tourism, as well as to promote human health. Therefore, we the people of Mendocino County adopt this Community Bill of Rights Ordinance. Very powerful document that's still on the books today. However, uh, unfortunately, the people of Mendocino County, um, after the bill was passed, and Mendocino County is, is a very diverse area over large periods, we couldn't come together to take the next steps to really start enforcing the Measure S, which would have established or should establish a community bill of rights in each community. And then the instructions on the Measure S uh, instruct the Board of Supervisors to meet with every community and go over their Bill of Rights. And the, also the supervisors are required, required to heed to the local community over state, federal, and world international laws. All right. So we, the people, have the power. The Board of Supervisors and the Sheriff are beholden to us in our communities, and we write the rules not the federal, state, and use enforcement. So here is one way, people, you can do this once you pass your own local ordinances and your local measures, is what I tried to do after this pass back in, in uh, December of 2014 was get the community together and just take the, the, the retirement system, the pension funds in our community. Mendocino County has over $325 million dollars in its pension fund and go to everybody in the county and say, hey, would you rather invest in international corporations or Google and PayPal and military uh, industrial complex that's hell bent on destroying everything and, and, and invest in those companies with your pension funds? Or would you rather make the pension funds invest in your communities, growing local food, local sourcing water, protecting the air above? All this money is available, folks, and the people would be all over helping. We'd have $325 million, <clears throat> excuse me, to fund our local communities. It's our money. It's our rights. But we have to declare it. We have to step up to the plate. And we have to. Look at this. Los Angeles has over $60 billion in pensions. Now's the time, folks. Now's the time to step up to the plate or there will be no time left. It's running short. We need to be the authors of our own authorities. We need to learn to write our own governance and to take care of our own people and to take care of nature as we deem best to protect the future for all. Or there will be no future. The earth is dying. Look at all the changes going on with the, with the man-made hurricanes and, and the man-made destructions out here in Mendocino and Santa Rosa and, and Napa with these, uh, with these laser-directed energies that destroyed tens of thousands of homes that people are still homeless. They're still homeless in Houston. They're still homeless in Puerto Rico. All right? This is the new game they're playing. So let's write our own laws, folks. Let's make our own rules. Tag your it. It's going to take some guts. It's going to take some time. Contact CellDef. I'll put it in the show notes. But please, be the author of your own authority. Don't let the enforcement f frighten you. We need numbers. We need to come together in common unity in our communities. And only then will we have abundance and we'll be able to direct this world in a way we want to reshape it. We are the change we wish to see. All right, there's a plain truth out. I hope this gives you a little inspiration for thought. You're not powerless. They don't own you unless you agree to it. And taxation is slavery. If we stop paying our taxes and keep 30, 40% of the money back to ourselves, how much can we help ourselves? Commandeer the pension money. Put it back in your communities. 
It's all right in front of us. We just have to demand it, folks. We all have to step up to the plate now. All right, there's the plain truth out. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for listening. You have been telling the people that this is the 11th hour. Now you must go back and tell the people that this is the hour. And there are things to be considered. Where are you living? What are you doing? What are your relationships? Are you in right relation? Where is your water? No your God. It is time, people, to speak your truth. Create your community. Be good to each other. And do not look outside yourself for the leader. Because this could be a good time. There is a river flowing now very fast. It is so great and swift that there are those who will be afraid. They will try to hold on to the shore. They will feel they're being torn apart and they will suffer greatly. No, the river has its destination. The elders say we must let go of the shore, push off into the middle of the river, keep our eyes open and our head above the water. See who is in there with you and celebrate. At this time of history, we are to take nothing personally, least of all ourselves. For the moment that we do, our spiritual journey and growth comes to a halt. The time of the lone wolf is over. Gather yourselves. Banish the word struggle from your attitude and from your vocabulary. All what we do now must be done a sacred manner and in celebration we are the ones we have been waiting for Nature has legal standing from toxic trespass of corporations that only look at nature as a profit center. We've been owned and we've been schooled and we've been taught to obey and be obedient or force will come and take us if we don't pay our taxes. Well, guess what? That's slavery, folks. It's the same thing. They just disguise it and we go along with it. 310 million people and you've got one person that you're allegiance to who's your representative who's out to destroy everything and protect all their own interests. Come on, they got 9-11 on the back of the bills. How good are they that they can do this before it happens? They've got the all-seeing Freemasonic eye that FDR, Freemason himself, put into institute in 1933. And now they're coming up with a new $100 bill. And if you look on the right side, it's a gold inkwell. That means who has the authority. Over 67% of the votes cast were in favor of the measure. It provides for waters free from toxic trespass. It preemptively bans all fracking activities countywide and establishes a community bill of rights to, for, and by the residents of Mendocino County while checking corporate powers as well. In addition, the newly created law gives the rights of nature to exist and flourish without toxic trespass, whereas previously nature had zero standing in the court of law. Here's part of the language, which we'll get into. The right to community self-government. All residents of Mendocino County possess the right to form governance where they live, which recognizes that all power is inherent in the people, and all free governments are founded on people's consent. 
Use of Mendocino County government by the sovereign people to make law and policy should not be deemed by any authority. Hey folks, and welcome to another video from A Plain Truth. Today we're going to get into writing our own laws and being the author of our own authority. In November of 2014, Mendocino County passed Measure S Ordinance, which declared in legalese, in full legal language, that they were the authors of their own authorities in the County of Mendocino, and the Community Bill of Rights supersedes state, federal, and international laws making the community the author of their own authority and declaring their rights to self-govern and decide what is best for themselves. Measure S also banned fracking and even more importantly it gave rights to nature so that this is an article I wrote about it uh, right after it had passed. Uh, quote, the sacred rights of mankind are not to be rummaged for among old parchments or musty records. They are written as with a sunbeam and the whole volume of human nature by the hand of divinity itself and can never be erased or obscured by mortal power. Alexander Hamilton. Rights are not gifts from government. All right. We've been trained monkeys, folks, to obey. If we don't pay our taxes altogether now, we will go to jail. We all are told the same thing. All right, so Mendocino County makes history. Yesterday, by a significant margin, the first county in California and the second county in the country to pass a law, powerful local ordinance that declares local self-governing rights in their communities over state and federal jurisdiction. Jurisdiction, going back to gold standard, and if you look closely in the background behind the gold inkwell, behind the landmark, you will see the writing that's talking of the second paragraph of the Declaration of Independence talking about abolishing government. They're putting it on the bill, folks. They're going to go to a gold standard. They're going to abolish government. There's the writing right there. You can see for yourself. So let's get into Measure S. It's a very powerful document. It gives rights to nature. It gives communities power over state and federal and international laws. And it also empowers all of us to give us hope for the future by making and creating the future we wish to see. All right, let's get into it. All right, so let's get into Measure S, an ordinance that was a local county measure in Mendocino County that was passed in November of 